Good morning, hot dogs. Homecoming, weather, sports, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to Allie Perkins, Emily Reagan, and An Emily Reagan. Voting for homecoming queen and big man on campus starts today and will end until the end of the day tomorrow. Check your emails to vote. Happy homecoming week. Friday is the big day of celebration. The parade will start at 5.30 sharp. The parade will begin by going around the west side of the square from Washington to Clinton and all the way down to Clinton, down to the high school parking lot. At halftime during the football game, we'll be honoring our homecoming court and announce our homecoming queen and big man on campus. Tomorrow for Spirit Week will be Hippie Day. The hot dog challenge will start su this Sunday. Make sure to turn in your team forms by the end of the day. Forms are available from Miss, Miss Wiley, Miss Zickman, Mr. Dudley, and, or Mr. Taylor. Natural weather and sports. In a gym filled with camo and blaze orange, the student section is going crazy. The hot dog volleyball team faced a nine-point deficit in game five, down two to 11, when Sydney Whitaker checked into the match. She helped lead the team on an eight-point run, making the score 9-12. to 12. Soon, the team found themselves at a Bulldog match point, down 12-14. to 14. When Macy Starrett went back to serve and led a four-point run to seal the win for Frankfurt. Huge plays were made by the hot dog defense and offense, including a huge block by Amber Houchin and several kills by Tara Martinez. Macy Starrett led in kills with 17, and Bella Colby followed with 11. Morgan Adamson had a big match with 30 assists and 8 kills. Mercedes Tony had 13 digs and 2 aces. Erica Pillion had 5 digs and an ace, and Erica Stevenson had 2 kills and 2 digs. Emma Pillion had a kill and 2 digs. Amber Houchin had a huge night with 8 total blocks and 3 kills. Tara Martinez had 16 digs and 8 kills, and Sydney Whitaker had 18 digs and 3 aces. The coaches would like to thank the Clinton Central Volleyball Program and student section for their incredible generosity and spirit in honoring Charles Davis, grandfather of Frankfurt coaches Kia Rushton and Macy Matthews. Charlie was a 42-year-old all-sports season pass holder for Central and a 25-year-old year season pass holder for Frankfurt. He never missed a Frankfurt Central matchup, and he would have loved the environment in the gym last night. A big thank you goes out to Jake Morris and the ISC Sports Network for supplying us with last night's game footage. The IHSAA Boys Soccer Sectional begins Monday, October 4th for the Hot Dogs. They will play the Southmont Mounties in Crawf at Crawfordsville at 6 p.m. Tickets are $10 for the entire week or $6 per night. You can get pre-sale tickets by clicking the link in the chatter. If you are choosing single-day ticket, make sure you are purchasing for Monday, October 4th game. The IHSAA Girls Soccer Sectional begins Tuesday, October 5th for the Hot Dogs. They will play the Tri-West Bruins at Danville at 6 p.m. Tickets are $10 for the entire week or $6 per night. Pre-sale tickets are available in the chatter. The IHSAA Boys Tennis Sectional will be, will be played on Thursday, September 30th at 5.30 p.m. at Lebanon High School. The tennis team will play the winner of Wednesday's match between Lebanon and Zinesville. Good luck, Hot Dogs. That's all for sports today. Now to weather with Azucena. This morning, this morning it was 65 degrees. When you woke up, the high for today is going to be 85 degrees, and and the low for today will be 55 degrees. Today will be sunny with a few clouds in the sky. That's all for weather today. Now back to your host. Picture day is near. FHS students and staff haven't had your picture taken. Are you new to FHS, or do you need a picture re retake? Well, you're in luck. Picture day is October 14th. All juniors and some seniors will be participating in the ASVAB test tomorrow. This is a very important test that may be a necessary component for graduation. It is important that you get to school on time as the test will begin promptly at 7.30. You only have one other chance to take this test this school year. Students are to report directly to their testing rooms. Students, you will receive an email about your testing room or you may ask any teacher where you will be testing. All teachers will have that information to share with all the students. If you do not com complete the testing prior to your normal lunchtime, you will have sea lunch in the ox gym. With Halloween coming up, NHS is sponsoring Trunk or Treat. Now a word from NHS. Hello, hot dogs. For those of you who don't know me, 
I'm Lexi and I am the Vice President of Service for the NHS Chapter here at Frankfurt High School. Today I'm here with Taylor who is our President. One of the main goals of NHS is to give back to our community through multiple annual service projects. This fall our chapter is planning to hold a trunk or treat event to do just that. The idea behind the trunk or treat is going to be that instead of kids going door to door to trick or treat they will go from trunk or trunk of our cars instead. We are asking any FHS student who wants to join us to help serve our community in this service project to meet us at the gravel lot by the tennis courts at 4 p.m. on October 30th to begin lining up and decorating our cars. Please form a group of no more than three people to represent each car. Each group must supply the candy for their own trunk and it must be individually wrapped. Other than that, we encourage you to decorate your car trunk and of course, dress up. Per usual, costumes must be school appropriate. Starting at 5 p.m., you will simply hand out candy to the youth in our community who attend. As they make their way from car to car, trunk or treating will end at 7 p.m. This is such a fun way to give back to our community, and NHS would love to include our FHS students in making this event memorable. Please talk to an NHS member or contact Mrs. Hale if you have any questions. In the meantime, don't forget to help us spread the word to the younger kids in our community. We hope to serve our community with you soon. That's all for the announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.